Hello. Um, I wanted to make sure that I actually got this out on time this month. So in June, Bean's Big Book Bash is one I've been looking forward to for a really long time. It is The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCullough. And I actually am friends with a niece of the author of this book. Um, I was friends with her before I knew that she was related to Colleen McCullough. And it just kind of was a cool thing to know. Um, I have been wanting to read this book since I was a kid. My mom read this book when I was a kid and watched the uh, TV miniseries when it aired on TV when I was a kid. Am I dating myself? Yes, probably. I don't know. Cable television? I don't know. But I remember watching this with my mother and not really understanding half of what was going on, of course, but um, being enthralled by it. Australia is so different from what I was experiencing, the outback, etc. And knowing that there was something um, spicy about the story, I don't know. Um, as a kid, it, it filled my imagination, what I understood and what I didn't understand of this story. Um, so I am somewhat familiar with it, but I've never read it and I have never rewatched, although I own on DVD, uh, the original miniseries for this. So I am kind of delving back into my childhood with this pick, um, even though it is not a child childhood book in any way, shape or form. Really excited to read this. If you want to read this with me, that's all this video is about. It's just a very quick little announcement to say, hey, June. Bean's Big Book Bash pick, The Thorn Birds by Colleen McCullough. We're going to read this. It is 530 pages long. It is the shortest of our Bean's Big Book Bash picks yet. Um, it may be the shortest of all of them that we'll read all year. I'm not sure. But at 530 pages, we can do this. We can do this. Um, it's still a chunker, still considered a chunker. I counted anything over 500 as a chunker. And so I think at 500 pages, um, probably I personally will work to read about 30-ish pages a day until I'm finished with it. Um, and that should have plenty of wiggle room as well for missing a few days here and there and still finishing well before the month is over. If you want to join me in that endeavor, there are resources that are in the link tree. You can access them through the link tree that is down below. Uh, additionally, if you follow me on Instagram or Bookstagram um, under Chicky Bean Loves Books, then you can find the link tree there and access the resources for this. Um, I, again, cannot say it enough. Really looking forward to this one. Um, and I hope that you will join me in the month of June to go visit Australia vicariously through the th